the peace of the Lord be with you. Good morning. This is our devotion for Wednesday, December 6th, and um, uh, our Old Testament lesson for this week is one of those uh, one of those Advent standards. It's Isaiah chapter 40, uh, verses 1 through 11, and um, as I say that, hopefully when I read it, you'll, you'll recognize it. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll jump into uh, jump into that, and um, follow the morning order, page 295 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. An uneven ground shall become level, and the rough place is a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry. And I said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows on it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O O Zion, herald of good news, lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good news, lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those that are with young. Let us pray. Blessed God, we seek your comfort, and um, we thank you that that our warfare is ended, that you have uh, pardoned our iniquity through the work of your Son, Jesus. We pray that you would bless us to, to prepare your way, that you, would, um, that you would prepare your way in our hearts, and we would speak of that in, in the world, in, the, in the, the, the desert of our world, that, that every valley would be lifted up and mountain and hill and hill be made low, uh, that your glory would be revealed, that all flesh would see it, and um, would see it because your mouth has spoken. We pray that you would rec- grant us to recognize that, that all flesh is grass, and its beauty is like the flower of the field, that knowing that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word stands forever. Grant us uh, strength and confidence to... To, to be heralds of your good news, to lift up our voices with strength, to, to, to be heralds who speak um, not in fear, that people would behold you, that, uh, that they would behold how you come with might, and your arm rules in all things, that your reward is with you, and your recompense before you, that you will tend to your flock like a shepherd, gathering your lambs into arms. Bless us that we would be those lambs, carried in your bosom, gently led by you to your eternal kingdom as you live and reign one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All right, so, excuse me, uh, we've got kind of kind of four sections here. You know, a lot of times I say, well, we got two sections, three sections. We actually kind of, kind of have four here. So, uh, the first section is that, that call to speak comfort. And, um, you know, that's that's one of the, 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 I think, one of the joyful passages of the season. Comfort, comfort my people. You know, as we met, live in the midst of, of the hardship of, of sin and sorrow and suffering, there is comfort, right? Even as we, even as we get mad at our own sin, there is comfort, right? Uh, so speak, speak, so speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended and her iniquity pardoned, right? That is the, that's the comfort we have, that, that our, our iniquity is pardoned. Our warfare, our, 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 our conflict with God is, is overcome, and, uh, and we have that, that, that mercy. Um, I, I, you know, I, I think, as I've done this uh, devotion on this before, I think I've, I looked this up before as well, but uh, which it says, receive double for all our sins. Um, people receive double in un- unmerited comfort. 
uh, the penalty for her iniquity was paid, and even though she could do nothing to make amends for the debt she incurred, she received from the Lord's hand good things in double portion to the punishment she deserved for her sins. So that's what, you know, receive from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. So, so that, and that's true, and we have grace upon grace, right? That's what, um, uh, you know, we see that in, what is that, John 1, I think. There's grace upon grace, right? So, so uh, you know, we have, we have the grace that God would forgive our sins, and, and we have the grace that as Christ has won that forgiveness and, and granted to us the, the good works, you know, that we are, we are created anew in good works that we would walk in them. Um, uh, Ephesians 2.10, right, that, that God actually wo rewards that. We, we get double. You know, we should get eternal punishment for our sins, and we get, instead, we get eternal life. And not only do we get eternal life, we get grace upon grace. We get rewards for the good works that we do in this life. The works that are only good because they're cleansed in Christ, right? So what, a, what an awesome, awesome thing there. Uh, then we have the, the shift to, to what we hear with, with John the Baptist. Uh, voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Um, you know, and, and then it, it, this is what, what that looks like. Every valley is lifted up, every mountain being made low. You know, if you think about trying to travel, uh, you know, if you ever go out west or, or go, go to the Appalachians in the east, you know, you're going up the mountains. And, of course, you, the way you go up the mountains, you try to go in the, the, the spot that's the lowest. You go in the valleys, so you can you go through the passes, right? And um, But you're still going up and down, right? Well, this is, um, you think about how much easier it is to drive across the middle of Illinois. You know, it's, it's flat there. Uh, but that's what the the, we, the 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 desire is for the for the Lord. You know that his 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 um, uh, that his way would be made straight in our hearts. That we wouldn't put up the roadblocks and the obstacles and the, the stumbling blocks against him. But we would, in repentance, uh, that path would be straightened, right? Um, and all his glory would be revealed. That all flesh would see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken, and. Um, I've got a note here, John 1, 14, right? The, uh, that that uh, the, the, the Word became flesh, the Word being Christ. The Word became flesh and dwelt among, among us. Uh, and the, the glory revealed as from the only, the, as from the Son by, of the only Father, or the, as the only Son of the Father, excuse me. Um, you know, so, so that, that we have this, this grace and this glory revealed. Um, and, in, and, and in a sense revealed, um, in, in Christ, in, in His coming, in the humility of Him born in the, in the stable, and in the humility of the cross, and, and in, in the promise of the resurrection. Let's um, let's look at John one fourteen here. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Right. So there's that that glory. Um, and then a voice says, "Cry." Uh, and what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows on it, surely the people are, are grass. The grass withers, and the flower fades. This reminder that our flesh is is mortal. It's going to die. It's going to rot, right? And um, in Christ, there is the resurrection for that, right? And 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 and, and that's what what our hope is in. Because if we're standing on our own, it's not going to happen. But the word stands forever, so we rest on that word. As I as I referenced, uh, I think it was yesterday. Um, heaven and earth will pass away, but the, my word will not pass away. Right? We rest on that on that word. Uh, get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good news. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good news. Lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord comes with might. His, his arm rules for him. Behold, behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. You know, this this uh, this heralding of, of God's coming in might. And, and, and of course, that might is, is masked in weakness, but in that, that weakness, he overcomes sin, death, and the devil. And, and, and there's this... This uh, this ruling that he does in that in this recompense. So um, so in that in that in that recompense in that care he will, as it says, tend his flock like a shepherd, gather the lambs in his arms, carry them into his bosom, and and gently lead those who are with young. You know that God is our our, our good shepherd. Christ is our good shepherd. Uh, in in him we shall not want. Right in him we are cared for. In his arms we are we are. Uh, covered and, 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 and provided for in all things and loved. Um, comfort. Comfort in that love. Comfort as we look to, to Christ's coming. Uh, right? Uh, thanks be to God. Amen. We continue with the Apostles' Creed. 
I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.